Hello everyone, my name is Dana Sandri Cristian. I'm from Bucharest, Romania, and I'm a student at Mihai Minescu National College. Today, I chose to talk about the power to adapt in crisis situations, and obviously the most suitable example would be the COVID-19 pandemic that deeply affected all of us. Frankly speaking, we all led to our saviors during these uh, tough times to doctors. They were always in the front line, even if we talk about nurses, uh, surgeons, paramedics, or other healthcare staff. Other researchers, uh, scientists, and also doctors managed to uh, deal with this critical period and came up with um, four different types of vaccines and 170 other vaccines in trials. Obviously, uh, trying to achieve the uh, same thing, uh, meaning uh, immunity to the virus and also uh, some of them stopping the transmission. In the meantime, how did the educational system manage to deal with this pandemic? Well, no one was prepared for this difficult situation. At the beginning, it was more like a trial period, not knowing which meeting apps to use or how to hand in our home assignments. When we came back to school in September 2020, every teacher was able to teach online uh, on a platform provided by our school, uh, more secure and more accessible for students to use. Our leisure activities certainly change. We had to adapt our free time to indoor activities. From my personal point of view, uh, I think that not being able to practice my favorite hobbies was the toughest aspect of the lockdown, such as cycling outdoors or not being able to meet my friends, neither my relatives. Um, unfortunately, there was a terrible aspect of this crisis situation that some people had to face. In fact, many individuals lost their jobs, um, getting fired because local and small businesses were closed during quarantine. As a result, the economy collapsed. Many economic research analysts described this meltdown as the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression in 2009. Overall, the pandemic socially distanced us, but also brought us together. We faced it as a whole as a large family and our ability to adapt during uh, this desperate time was incredible. We finally spent more time discovering ourselves, giving our best when it came to following safety measures, such as uh, wearing a mask. And the fact that I'm still here talking to you and having people to listen to me, that's the proof. So now we shall wonder, when will the coronavirus pandemic cease? Thank you.